Welcome, family, to the Africana History Challenge, the only game show where the prize is knowledge of self. My name is Jabari Osaze, and I'm your hood historian. I'm so excited to be back here to absolutely take you through some of the high points of the history of people of African descent. Call everyone you know and let them know that we're on. This show is brought to you by Mastering Mindsets Las Vegas and the Kingdom Television Network. Please make sure that you know that Las Vegas is where it's at. We have a bunch of wonderful contestants here. I think we need to be introduced to these inimitable Africans on this stage. Please, can we start with Brother Lawrence? Can you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure, hi everybody, I'm Lawrence Weekly. I'm a native Nevada, currently serving as a chief of staff um, at the College of Southern Nevada, a radio talk show host on KCEP, uh, Straight Talk, which is aired every Saturday morning, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And people are telling me that you need to go meet Brother Lawrence. That's a powerful brother. So listen, if y'all don't know who he is, you need to get to know who he is. And he is sitting next to the queen, Lady AK, one of my favorite people. Lady AK, please tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, Professor Jabari. It's Lady <laughs> AK, Advanced Knowledge from Power 88's The Breakdown, also the founder of AK's Closet. I'm also also a content producer here at Kingdom Television Network. And I think that's all that's important right now. Mm. You're going to hear more from her in just a few moments. So let's just make sure that you stay tuned, find out more about what these wonderful people are doing, and watch them score. Last but not least, we have a good young brother who is stepping to the plate and is prepared to answer some really challenging questions. Please, Brother Courtney, tell us a little bit about yourself. What's going on, everybody? My name is Courtney Hempel. I'm a licensed funeral arranger at Gideon's Memorial Chapel. I'm a native Nevadan, um, more so Las Vegas, Nevada. It's good to be here with you all. Wonderful. Look at these beautiful people, beautiful, intelligent, qualified, competent people up here. I, I'm excited to just be on the show with them. Now, we are going to actually hear a lot more about them and get into the questions. But before we do that, we are going to take a break. So please don't go anywhere. The Africana History Challenge is coming up next. So family, I think we should just jump right into it. What is question number one? Who hasn't heard of the massive celebrations known as carnival? Did you know that Africans created it? What was it called? Here go your choices. A, the Africa Town Festival. B, the Opet Festival. C, Trinidadian Carnival. And D, Mardi Gras. What is your answer? Anyone want to jump out and give us an answer first? I ain't scared. I'm going to jump in. I'm going to say B. And the reason that I'm going to select B is because Africa Town seems way too obvious. Watch, that'll be the answer. Um, C, Trinidad is not Africa. And Mardi Gras, I believe, is French. So I'm going to say B. Mm, interesting, wow. interesting, interesting. Do we have answers from the other contestants? You know, I really like her perspective on that. That was Same. really good. The explanation was really good. But I'm going to do something a little different. Let's just mix it up. I don't have to side with her. I can just do my own thing. That's right. It's right. my thing. Do what I want to do, right? That's right. right. So she went with Opet Festival. Um, you know, I know Mardi Gras is French. Um, but I went to school down south, and you know, I got a chance to hang out in Mardi Gras, and it's just something kind of Africana about it to me. So I'm going with D. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. So we have D there. Brother Courtney? I'm going to go with B also just because I love uh, Lady AK's rationale. I was thinking the same thing about option A being too, a little too obvious. So yeah, we're going to block Got it. 
Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so we have two for B and one for D. Let's see what the answer is. Yeah, the Moped Festival. Now, folks, you should know there's something interesting that goes on with Carnival, right? You ever notice that when the folks take these large trucks that are adorned with flowers and everything down the street, what do they call them? Floats. <laughs> they call them floats, right? right. Isn't it interesting that they call them floats, but they're not floating? Right. Well, this is actually a reference to the original festival. The original festival was actually held on water. And these boats would go from one temple to the next. You're seeing an image here from the tenth temple of Epetusut, now known as Karnak, where you see priests carrying the boat back from the place where they actually floated it. The Opet Festival is the origin. By the way, when it goes into Greece and Rome, they start calling it Carnivalis. That's where Carnival comes from. Mm -hmm. You just better know there's a lot of stuff that black people created. You hear what I'm saying? Got it. Let's go to our next question. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Question number two. A common stereotype is that Asian people are best at math. Did you know that the oldest mathematic artifact in the world is African? Name it. Here are your selections. A, the Ishango bone. B, the African abacus. C, the Lebombo bone. And D, the Egyptian mathematic marker. <laughs> what say you, family? I'm, I'm going to say you're going to kill me because I've attended your lectures before when you've talked about this and I'm still going to probably get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I wish I could even remember the rationale. I'm going to go with C mm. because I feel like you say La Bombo Bone, like that's the right answer. Mm. And I feel, like, I feel like I've heard you say it before. Okay, okay, okay. There's a rationale. Are the rest of you going to select the same thing or select well, something different? Like what do you think? Been, yeah, I feel like since she's been to your lecture, I mean, <laughs> see, all day. It's so funny. it looks like we have two for C. Brother Courtney? I'm going to go with B because I kind of remember something about Abacus from high school. Mm. That part they did go over. Mm. <laughs> Wait, I may not like her answer now. <laughs> <laughs> well, well we'll let's see. see what the answer is. C, the oh! Now let's be clear, I tried to trick you because the second oldest mathematical artifact is answer A, the Ishango bone. Are you telling me, Brother Jabari, hood historian, that the two oldest, Afri the two oldest mathematic artifacts are both African? That is exactly what I'm telling you. It's a really interesting story. We don't have a lot of time to talk to you about it now. Please research Labombo and Ashango, and you will be surprised. With that, folks, we've gone through the first two questions. It's time for us to pay the bills. We're gonna go to our commercial break, and I know that you can't wait to see how these contestants do on the final three questions. Please join us in a moment. Welcome back, family, to the Africana History Challenge. I hope you've told your entire family that this is going on, because you know they need to see this just like you need to see this. Well, you know, it's time for us to get to questions three and four. And I want you to just look at our contestants. Ask yourself a question. Which one of them represents you? Mm. Who do you think you are going to be rooting for? Mm. Attractive, intelligent people. I know this is a hard choice, but you should be playing along at home as well. Let's get it. Question number three. When forensic scientists created a model of the quote unquote first European, they had a big surprise. What was it? Here are your selections. A, his brain was smaller than the African. B, he looked very African. C, it was a woman. D, he had locked hair. Oh <laughs> what say you, family? Do any of those questions jump out at you automatically? Yes. Yes. Most definitely. Yes. 
Really? Brother Courtney, you want to make a selection? Uh, yes, I'm going to go with D, about the locked hair. Mmm. Okay. Okay, D with the locked hair. Good. I am going to go with B, that European forensic, I'm sorry, that forensic scientist that created the first European model were surprised that he looked very African. Mmm. Okay, so we have a D and a B. Brother Lawrence, what say you? Oh. <laughs> don't want to go with her answer this time. Uh, I'm going to go solo. It, just, it was a woman. Mmm. Yeah. We have a B, a C, and a D. Yeah. You can see that? Let's see Jesus. what the answer is. It is... B, he looked very African. What y'all come for? <laughs> That's an image of the model right there. Look at Lady AK like, what y'all doubted me? What is going on here? I'm telling you. I went to After community three questions, college. Do we have a score? I'm trying to figure out exactly what it looks like right now. Anyone know what the, the score looks like after three questions? It looks like we have three for Lady AK and one for Brother Courtney. And Brother Lawrence is really striking on his own. Excuse me, he has one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Give him his point. Put some oh. respect on it. We, we need to figure out exactly. Judges, where is the point? Anyway, let's move on. We're going to go to question number four. Are you ready, contestants? Yeah. Yes. Wonderful. Let's get it. Question four. What historic events in February motivated its selection as Black History Month? Let's look at your selections. A, the birthdays of Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass. B, the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. C, the birthday of Langston Hughes. And D, the commemoration of the passing of Carter G. Woodson. Great choices. <laughs> what say you? <laughs> Only one of them is great. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to go with, you know, because it was a big birthday celebration that they were, you had all of these kids that they selected to sing for Abraham Lincoln's birthday, um, but it had nothing to do with Frederick Douglass. So I'm going to eliminate A. And then the birthdays of Langston Hughes, uh, I'm going to eliminate that one also. Then Commemoration of the passing of Carter G. Woodson. You know, Carter G. Woodson had a, a lot to do with uh, the celebration of Black History Month, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. Mmm, B, the signing of the Emancipation <laughs> Proclamation. Huh. <laughs> uh, Lady AK. Huh? No, Courtney next. Let the baby go. Go ahead, baby. Oh, no, oh, no you going to try to piggyback and jump on my ass and I'll get you on. Get you on. Get off. Get, get from up under AT skirt, baby. Well, one of y'all has to make us like on. Come on. Give your What you answer. think? Oh, uh, let's go with, um, oh, Lord. Oh. I had to wait. Oh, oh no. Options D. Option D. Option D, the commemoration of the passing of Carter G. Woodson. Mm -hmm. Interesting selection. We got some interesting selections here. Let's see which one <laughs> Lady AK goes uh, with. I'm gonna give is she going to agree with one of wrong. them or is she going to strike out on her own? I'm going to strike out on my own. I'm going to say there are a lot of people who are under the miseducation umbrella that Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. Mm. Um, and obviously we know who Frederick Douglass is. So I'm going to go with A. Mm. Look at this. Three different answers. A, B, and D. I wonder which one you choose at home. I want to know what you think. Let's take a look at the answer. Drum roll, please. Uh, the birthdays of Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass. Lady AK is doing push-ups. She's getting large over here. What is going on? 
I should have went with it. <laughs> this was not now, intentional. This was not supposed to happen. I was supposed to leave here embarrassed. Please, <laughs> please. Now, can I say Give this me more. To you? I, D was supposed to be a deke. It was supposed to kind of confuse you because Carter G. Woodson is the one that selected it as Negro well, History well, Week, well, right? Well, right. So that's where some of the confusion comes. Mm. I, that's a, that sounds like a really good answer. But his selection was based on the birthdays of Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass. And so that is where it comes from. At least that's where Negro History Week comes from, and which know, later morphs into Negro History really Month about and then into Black guys. History Month. Mm -hmm. How are y'all feeling over there? Huh? <laughs> Contestants? Yo, man, the quiz master. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just really, con uh, you know, I had never heard them really talk about the birthday of Frederick Douglass. That's right. You know, they always talk about the, uh, all the uh, children. I think there were 500 children that were gathered together to sing um, the Black National Anthem uh, during Black History Month for uh, Abraham Lincoln's birthday. Mm. Yeah, I never heard really Frederick Douglass in that. And you know, I, I have to say to you, you know, <laughs> doing this on television <laughs> while everybody is watching you is tough, but you had better believe folks at home are choosing the same things you are choosing, partially because we do not learn this. Yeah. And we should. And the other reason is because Brother Jabara, your challenge master, is sneaky. <laughs> so I often put things in there that will be confusing. So I, I just want you to know that we only have one question left. We have to really see who will prevail as the Africana history challenge master of this episode. Before we do that, we got to go pay the bills. We're going to go to commercial and be right back. Don't miss it. Welcome back, family, to the Africana History Challenge. I know that this exciting game has left you with three contestants who have been battling for the title of Africana History Challenge Master. We only have one question left. And my understanding is that one contestant actually is far enough ahead that the other two contestants might not be able to surpass her. Just so you know who we're talking about in this particular episode. Lady AK has done very well. But you better know the prize is knowledge of self. So you want to hear the final question, don't you? Let's get it. Question number five. What is the name of the false artifact created to give Europeans a falsified origin outside of Africa? Here are your selections. A, the missing link. B, the Neanderthal. C, the Piltdown Man. And D, the British Downing Man. Those are your selections. I want to know what each of you is thinking. Any of these answers jump out at you immediately, folks? Yes. Not a yes. one. Yes. I mean, not a one. You know, can I say this as a point of personal privilege? If you had read Jabari Osaze's book, Seven Little White Lies That Conspiracy Destroyed a Black Self Image, you would know the answer to this. So, which one of these jumps out at you? Oh my God. Does it count that we have the book, but I haven't read it yet? <laughs> I just want to throw that out there that we do have the book. Not um, necessarily. The, the, which we'll see. Out to you? What do you think? Which, which, which answer do you think makes most sense, contestants? Oh, We're probably thinking the same thing. Setup. Which one? Both they set you up, Brother Lawrence? Both of y'all said Tell D. I heard y'all. I did not say D, <laughs> but apparently that's your answer, no, and you don't want to commit to it. No, I'm not committing to it. Okay. Now, you see this is a tough question because they didn't jump out quickly. What, mm -hmm. what do you think? Mm -hmm. What do you think? No. Yep. Mm -mm. You said D. You might whoa, as well. Whoa, whoa. I didn't say like oh, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. We What'd you say? B? B? No, no, no. What'd you say? No, no, no. So you, went to, you went with C? Lord. Mm. 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 Brother Courtney, are you comfortable enough with, uh, speaking an answer yes, aloud yes, to the family at home? 
I'm gonna go with C. Ah, C. He there says C, the Piltdown Man. Yes, sir. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, mm -hmm. Brother Lawrence, Lady AK, what say you? Well, for some reason, I don't know why, it looks like it's spelled wrong, but it looks like it might mean something. So I'm gonna go with B. You're gonna go with B? Yes. Neanderthal? Yes. Sometimes people say Neanderthal. They do. And some people say and that's Neanderthal. What I was looking for. I said, look, look, look. So you I think I'm trying to like. give you a hint? I'm trying to give you a hint, give you the hookup? Okay, <laughs> go ahead. That, that might be, that might be part of it. Lady AK, what say you? I say, I say A, the missing link. A, the missing link. I believe that that has a lot to do with um, them trying to attribute us to monkeys and mm. things like that. And just another way, again, for Europeans to try to assert dominance over us. And what else do they do when they don't have any actual dominance? They make it up. And the missing link sounds made up as hell. Was was Brother Lawrence serenading your answer? He was. <laughs> but did you see me? Did you see I was unwavered? Did you see yes, me? Yes, you were. I stood you my ground. You see what happens when your co-hosts get on I the don't TV even like show violins. together? You see this? I don't. Are we oh, Are we it? ready for an answer? Are you ready at home for an answer? How have you been doing on the Africana History Challenge? Well, we're going to see what the answer to the final question is. One, two, oh! three. Let's go. The Pilt Down Man. Yeah. The Pilt Down Man. This is important, folks. Yeah, see, didn't even um, yeah, and, right. and I want to say that Brother Courtney got it right. Now, what? understand that when we look at these scholars, I use that with air quotes that you can see because we're on TV. When these scholars wanted to try to mislead us about Africa's role in the development of humanity, they literally took pieces of a human skull, a chimpanzee skull, some teeth from some other animal, they fused them all together. And do you know for 40 years, more than 40 years, this was considered the standard. It was in medical textbooks. And it wasn't until another scholar had a chance to look at it and say, hey, we've been had. We've been led astray. We've been hoodwinked. Well, Folks, I'm going to tell you, Brother Jabari didn't hoodwink you today. Our contestants did pretty well. But you should know that we do have an Africana History Challenge master tonight. And it is <laughs> Lady AK. No, no, no. no. Wait, hold on. It's oh, a tie. No. It's a tie. It is. It is a tie. I think, I think that they trying to change the rules. No, Listen, no. the Africana History Challenge, each one we all is win. one point. Y'all try to change the point structure. We better understand there is one winner here. <laughs> now, I want to be clear. They all get the prize. The prize for the Africana History Challenge is knowledge of self. And so this is important. And really quickly before we go, Let's show you question six. And this question is not for our contestants, it's for the family at home. Take a listen. What is the Ethiopian name of the 3.2 million year old fossil that locates early human ancestors in Africa? Your choice is A, Lucy, B, Dinknesh, C, Australopithecus afarensis, and D, the Sankofa Eve. This question is for you at home. Send your answer to the Mastering Mindsets website at masteringmindsets.org. Let's see if you're good enough to be one of our contestants. This has been Jabari Osaze, your hood historian here with the Africana History Challenge. We can't wait to see you next time. Yeah. Peace.